Hey there, my name is Dimitri and welcome to another video here at Softer. In this video, we're gonna dive into how to make a marketing campaign management system in Softer. So if you go to softer.io slash templates, you can actually check out all of our templates. But for this one specifically, we're gonna talk about a template that has amazing campaign planning, performance tracking and analysis, the ability to manage budget and invoices, have a bunch of different customized views and with easy access to materials. So marketing campaigns are a collection of activities, events, and content that can unify brand experiences and messaging across multiple marketing programs over defined timelines to achieve a specific goal. And this is exactly what this template is gonna help you out with. In order to check it out, make sure to go to the preview button here if you wanna take a look at it without implementing it into your actual software system. And then from there, you'll see that there are a few different ways to log in, and that would be with the different user groups slash roles that are defined. So the admin, marketer, and designer. So if I log in as an admin by utilizing the magic link that's placed right there, it'll bring me to this marketing campaign template. And as you can see, I have the ability to look at all the different campaigns that have been made, filter it to a specific property here, which is the status property. And I can even create a new campaign as an admin by writing down the campaign, putting the goal, its status, who is assigned to it from a marketing standpoint, a design standpoint, and then having a couple of other properties that matter. Like when are we starting this? When are we ending this? What platform are we doing this campaign on? And some copy as well as budget. And then I could add it to the system. Now at the forefront, you'll see that if I click on one of these, I have the ability to update the campaign with that same data that we talked about earlier. From the create campaign standpoint, we basically have the exact same form, but just the ability to update this data. So if I wanted to change this date, for example, I could update it and that would change this to June 2nd. And then that would reflect right here on the template. So as you'll take a look here, you'll see we have all of the main information that matters about the marketing campaign. We have a couple images at the top here. And if we wanted to, we could even delete this entire campaign by pressing this button as the admin. Now at the bottom here, we also have campaign results. So these are essentially what ended up happening inside of the campaign. What was the return on investment target? What was the actual ROI? What was our conversion rate target and actual conversion rate? Then the target number of clicks, how many clicks actually happened and the budget. You can also update these results right here that are attached to this marketing campaign. Now, what you also can do here is if we go to the campaigns drop down, we're on this view all page right here. But what we can also do is click on the calendar view to essentially get a view of the different campaigns that go through the different timelines here. So as you can see, if I click on one of these, I can then go into view campaign and I'll get put into a modal side view of the campaign right here. That's the exact same info as what you saw in the full page view. Uh, but it's a little bit easier to look at, right? It showcases the full project timeline, the beginning date and end date, the name of it. I can go and change this to a month or week or day view, right? And at the top for the week view, it'll show the projects. And then after scrolling around, when I press today, it ends up bringing me back to the date, which you can see right there is the 30th of November. Now, if we go to the results page, this is essentially going to have some ROI targets, which can be adjusted as well as the click targets, conversion rate targets, and it's showcasing this by the marketing campaign. So you can adjust this to be the actual ROI, to be the actual clicks. Whatever your heart desires, you can essentially update these graphs to do so. They're a really great layout. We've actually made a lot of improvements to our charts as time has gone on here at Software. So we really hope that you'll check these out. Then on the drop down again, if we click on budgets, we'll essentially get brought to another page that has a chart that showcases the percentage spend across all campaigns. And along with the full number, when we hover over them, we'll basically be able to see what marketing campaigns are taking up the majority of our spend. Now, this is very useful for getting a great overview of how much of the pie is a different marketing campaign taking up spend wise. And then taking a look here at the bottom, we can see we can actually add new budgets. So adding a budget and a campaign here. And we can also update these with the same kind of field. So if I change this to 25,000 for looks liftoff, 
and that would change it in the chart. And then if we scroll down here, we actually have a quarterly budget overview as well. So this is gonna essentially show what our quarterly budget is for each of the four quarters inside of 2023. You can change the date range here, change it to whatever the data is inputted in the tables. I uh, really like the way that this works. It's a great system. It allows you to give you a great overview of the different budgets going on with, within your marketing campaigns. And then last but not least, we have the team page. So this is essentially a couple different people that are on the team. And as you can see, I'm Adam the admin. There's Dina the designer and Mike the marketer. A lot of alliteration. With these different team members, if I press edit profile, you'll notice that there are a couple of different things to put in here. So image that you saw is on the file right here, the role, the email, and the name. Simple, easy, quick. I also have the ability to click on the three dots and remove them to essentially delete them. And then I also have the ability to add new team members as an admin as well. The majority of this setup when it comes to the other user groups are essentially just pared down differences, right? So if you are in a lower user group, admin level access is always the highest level of access, but lower groups end up having less ability to like add new items or delete items. A lot of the time they can just update things so that they don't end up adding entirely new things to the system. This template does a great job of helping you with marketing campaigns. So if you are interested in checking this one out, make sure to go to softer.io slash templates today and get your copy of this template for free. With that being said, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.